TJID, in a collaborative effort with the Natural Resource Governance Institute, is implementing a three-day training program for CSO stakeholders and media professionals on methane emissions and the strategies for its reduction. This work-long training and engagement, capacity building and knowledge sharing on the energy transition and control of methane emissions, is therefore a huge, of huge interest to us as an agency. For us, it is the right time to table this as a national agenda for public discourse. It's been really enlightening. Um, the various um, sources of uh, methane emission in the country and what strategies um, could be deployed to, to reduce that. We've been doing a workshop for the past couple of days looking at the all-important issue of GHG emissions in the oil and gas industry. There's a lot of changes that are happening at the global level at the moment with investors, consumer markets and governments around the world, all making it much, much more difficult to sell oil and gas if it's going to have high emissions. So what we're looking at in this session is what does that mean for Nigeria? Nigeria has got to clean up its oil and gas operations. Nigeria is a major fossil fuel producer, and that means that there is a tendency for Nigeria to lean towards resources that are present. Gas is a great resource in some respects, and it can have its own risks in some other respects. Guidebooks such as this helps us calibrate it better. That way we can dissect to see how best to navigate the transition.